Really side of the streets. We on the west side of Philly right now. Real MTV TV. Yeah, real MTV TV. Oh, it's crazy. The f***ed up part about it is they got a whole candlelight memorial right in front of the kids' daycare. This should be so f***ed up. We in Philly. You know, it's raining and shit. Water ain't stopping no motion. You see we out here. I ain't gonna lie. Out of all the places I didn't drove before, Philly gotta have the most weirdest, confusing streets for me at least. Should be. I don't know. I first got down here. That's just confusing as hell. Real MVP TV, you hear me? The real MVP, yeah, like he man. really in the city right now. We on 63rd Street, man. It's MBM, TBM. He said BM, Caddy Yellow. You know what I'm saying? TBM, Trapways, Mafia, Slap, all that. But we showing bro trenches right now where we grew up at and all that thing. You know what I'm saying? Take a walk with us, talk with us. We on 63rd in Jefferson. You know what I'm saying? In Philly. Fucking trenches for real. You know what I'm saying? This is my old building. What was it like when you was coming up? What, around here? Yeah. We grew up fast, bro. Like, we was going regular shit. Bro, I mean, flipping, taking the bikes, catch a girl, pick a girl, regular shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, like my pop was in the army, so I moved when I was like 12. When I moved back here, I ain't moved, I ain't come back here. I was in Southwest, but I, my, my cousin was in the county for real, so I was back and forth. Growing up in the city, like, it's wicked, like, man. This is where we grew up at, like, but we don't still be out here. Around here, here if you, here, like. yeah, if you, if you do your research around this, around here, bro, you'll see, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we, <laughs> we from 63, you see that shit there, though. This is yeah. a new wave out here, though. Yeah, bro. They running out this joint, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, no, the whole purpose was, like, to elevate anyway. That's why people don't be out here, like, if you still see somebody standing on a block in Philly, nine times out of ten, they probably running, they probably runners, or they probably case workers. You're not really gonna catch nobody on the block. And then with all the wicked stuff going on in the city, with all the beef and all that, nobody got time to be standing outside, and, you know, just ducking bullets and ducking yeah, shots, yeah. and everybody come through shooting like. Man, then we used to like we used to come all our, like all back here. Yeah, I don't know, like, you ready right. hot the gate and all that, like all the chases, like we get chased and all the shootouts and shit. Niggas run back here. Sometimes like this joint, like we usually stay open for us. We had that joint open, we had that joint quick, we run right through there. And then you see the buildings right there, we about to walk around we there and back. Then the other buildings, we run right through the other buildings, take off. Any cops chases, is always automatic getaway. It's too many alleys, too many buildings. That's around. what I kind of, uh, that's what I peeped out here, these hella alleys and cuts type shit. Like, it's, it's too many. But for some reason, for me, it seemed like it's like it's trickier out here to maneuver because it just seemed like everything on the same is hella streets too, though. Yeah, like this is the main street, like this 63rd street, like niggas don't really claim 63rd or claim West and like right now we in West. Like this 63rd street, like this is a main strip. So 63rd to lead all the way to motherfucking Southwest, you feel me? So niggas don't really actually be like, yo, I'm from some niggas do, like you got Jefferson, you got blocks and all that. I ain't gonna say too many block names and all that, but especially if I ain't, I mean, ain't stumping on them lands right now. But when you go down, you got blocks and niggas might be like, yeah, I'm from this in 63rd, I'm from that in 63rd. But nine times out of 10, niggas like, I'm claiming my block, like where we from, like we from the Carter. All these buildings is us. Like niggas is from 63rd, but if you ask me, I'ma say I'm from the Monty. Like this the Carter's, the Monty's right here, we about to walk to. I'ma say I'm from the Beast. He gonna say he from the Monty's too. Too, cause that's where, I, that's where I'm, I'm saying, saying like this where we go. Like this all supposed to be like really one. You know when you young boys, bro, regular shit, bro, running around. It be fun type shit. shit. Yeah. It be fun as shit going up in the hood type shit till shit is serious. That shit be getting serious early, bro. I think we first started probably tracking out of these dogs though. He's he's the guard. Like, we really probably first because we was bad as shit. We used to, wait, wait. We had off the porch. We was like seven. We was smoking weed, flipping and shit. Uh, All that shit playing catch a girl, free girl, and then that shit it just took off. I think one of the old heads gave us our first pack and we started trapping out of these buildings. Cause all the old heads used to be in these ones. Right here in the mines. All the old heads. Used. So we couldn't really trap. They ain't let us trap. They ain't really let us trap. Like whoever was giving us the pack was sneaky giving it to us. And the other old heads like, who gave y'all the work? Who gave y'all the work? You know what I'm saying? Niggas was never telling us. So it's like, no, nobody. Nigga, what's up? Like, what's up? They fucking us up. Ooh, y'all niggas can't trap. So we wasn't even allowed to sell drugs in our own block. Like, I'ma keep it a bean. The old heads didn't even let us trap. Y'all niggas can't sell. Y'all niggas can't do that. Shit. They wanted us to play ball, do other shit. So we couldn't even really, like, trap. Like, so we was, like, sneaky trapping. I ain't gonna lie for a minute. Niggas had to grow balls and just tell the old heads, like, man, we trapping out here, like, that's when it start getting a little goofy and all that. But for a minute, like, the old head's like, no, y'all can't trap out here, like. And we from the block. Niggas that's not from the block can't trap. 
ground here at all, but we front of Black Nation, like, no, because we was the young boys to them, like, no, y'all can't grind. And then it got to the point where when we start really grinding out here and shit, niggas was like, um, yeah, y'all gotta get work from us. And it's like, who made that rule up? <laughs> like, <laughs> niggas telling you, yeah, y'all can't grind unless y'all get it from us. So niggas like, y'all making up rules and shit. Like, ain't never heard that. Like, so niggas wasn't grabbing off niggas and then start getting goofy and a lot of falling out. That's how a lot of shit, a lot of friends became friends of me and shit. But that's another story for another day. So now I said like the old heads, like they used to have this side right here. And we used to have that side over there. You know what I'm saying? They used to be like, yo, y'all niggas can't, like, ain't nothing going on. But now, like I said, don't nobody be out here no more for real. Then you have some niggas right here doing their own thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, niggas used to be all in this joint. Then you had, like us, all right, we'd be all running through all out the buildings and shit. Like, we had, like, all the bitches be running around with us. We'd be all in the buildings doing wild kind of freaky shit. The bitches all in the buildings and shit. Man. Don't do that to me. Open the door. Hi! Hey. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right now. I tried. It looks nice. And this is a fancy elevator right here. We did all kinds of stuff in this elevator. Look, you see, she said she's thinking it ain't working. Are you putting me on camera? Yeah, you on camera, you already know. What you on camera for? What are you doing? What's up with this? A little interview. I go to people's neighborhoods and I'm telling us like growing up out there and stuff. Oh, you are so cute. If you were my son, I would have never whipped your ass. <laughs> It's time for that cardio. And here, a lot of the young boys are being here too. In the, in the head, you know what I'm saying? A lot of niggas gonna come through here. Young boys got this shit on smash now. You walk through here, you gotta walk through 50 niggas just to get to the top. And it's like, niggas ain't going. Like, every stop, you stop right here and be a dude, be somebody right here. Yo, what's up, bro? Who you, where you from? Where you going? What floor you going to? Who you here to see? Then you come out to the second floor. There's 10 more niggas, they all right here smoking this shit. Yo, what's up, bro? You got get these niggas. Excuse me, bro. Excuse me, why? No, I'm just here to see such and such. All right, hold on. Let me call. Let me call it real quick. Let me call it real short. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> niggas pop out of this, you know? Yo, oh, oh, who that squad? Who that squad? You got to come up to the third so You got to see some more niggas. No, fuck it. Oh, I don't want to bitch me. Who this? Who this? Come up to the third floor. No, I'm just here to see Sean. <laughs> Nigga Sean in that second day. What's the proper way for somebody to just be able to get through and navigate all them niggas properly without no conflict? Call. You call and tell somebody to meet you. We just came, that shit easy access. They don't usually be like that. That's like once in the blue. But you call and tell them to come outside. Whoever you hear this see, like, you on my side, man, come outside and meet me. Nine times I'm saying they gonna meet you anyway. And they know what's going on. But if they just moved up here, they don't know. Yeah, you got call. You know what I'm saying? This is where the spiders be a cute lookout at. They be up here. Yo, the wall, the wall. Yo, out the window. Yo, yo, yo. They looking on that side. And if you come through here, there's a whole nother side where you can look out at. So how many, like, are these buildings and how far do this, like, y'all section stand? So you got the vistas, you got the towers, you got the gardens, you got the carter. And then on, now on that block, you got another set of buildings, what they call them. I forgot, but niggas be all in them joint right around in them joint. But I tell you, a lot of niggas don't be out here, so if you see somebody out here now, like, you won't never catch me out here. But if you see somebody bro, out here now, out here in years, bro. This shit. You know what's funny? You know what's funny? Because y'all said, y'all not the first people from Philly to be like, we just don't be in the hood. A lot of motherfuckers. I feel like they gotta be in the hood bro, to feel tough and shit, but it don't be nothing good that come with it. Like that's west, like that's west. All right, then you met us up north. Yeah, and bro, we should have got that shit. Like, like then he like, oh, we about to relocate. You like, damn, I thought we I thought was just from Philly, no? Yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, this, I live down here. I've been down there, but yeah, like, well, yeah, like you know what I'm saying? That's not my block, no, bro. Like I know everybody around there. I've been around there for a decade. We can go around. So it's love out there, type shit. We can go around there and walk around the block and all that shit. Too, bro. But like, you know, I wanted to show you where I'm, where really me, you me, you know what I'm saying? Bro, this, since I'm gonna show you where, you know, niggas lost their virginity in, the, in these buildings mm -hmm. and shit like that, bro. People be out here, that's how I say, you gotta walk through a lot of niggas, but I'm talking about us. Like, we grew up, we, we elevated, so. It was like been there, done that type shit. Yeah, it's like, that's, that was never, it was never this to be forever anyway. Like, you ain't supposed to really be on the block forever, bro. Then when we was at North, where we was at, we know niggas that still be out there, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, no, motherfuckers gonna be standing like that out there, though. That's what I'm saying, it is. Different parts of the city be different, bro. It all depends on what kind of motion you having, too. 
if you got motion the words though you gotta be moving around you're gonna be moving around you're not gonna be stuck in one part of the city but if you got motion is where it's though you gotta be in one part of the city because that's where you make most of your finances at then you might see somebody sitting around in one area of the city because that's where they you know that's where they getting waved yet now we about to go down to the towers down here we could have really cut through the alley like i said a lot of these chases been through the alleys and that's how we, we that's how we get there all right if the cameraman wasn't with us or if we wasn't like we still young boys and still active we had just cut right through the alley and be in them buildings right there look you probably can see them from right here you see them from them the towers what did you gotta hop over shit over there yeah you right. probably got hop like one fence it ain't really nothing though it's like one fence it's like to us it wasn't nothing. bro we Man. used to flip off of everything <laughs> niggas rub boys athletic shit Flip off these rooftops and shit. So that shit ain't that one fence you think about having, it's like a one hop. It's like, damn, damn. Anybody that hop gates, they gonna know like, yeah. Sometimes like some niggas cut drones in the gates where you could just go up and just under. Just get through on type shit. Yeah, but then the old heads, they stopped a lot of that shit too because when they was getting chased by the law, they didn't even want the law. A lot of times, a lot of them cops be, they, they be out of shape. So when you, when they take you on a foot chase, it's like they can't hop over this gate fast. Like, not catch me. Once I get over this gate, I'm gone. Cop motherfucker get stuck on that gate because it's definitely a little high, probably like that gate right there. Like, we grew up right here and all this shit. So, this is the first store I ever stole out of. This is the first store we ever stole out of. Pop, <laughs> Joe Pop be lied up. Listen, yeah. Pop right here, she ain't lied up. We ain't gonna can't win here. He already know what's up, but she ain't lied. We done stole so much shit from Pop. Like, Pop might as well start his own food stand business. You hear me? Yeah. And that's our Pop. It ain't even like stealing. He be giving us that shit. He be like, go ahead. I'm like, hey, Pop. I just take anything I want. He's like, all right, go ahead. Yeah, you know, I ain't paying for this shit, Pop. Damn, that's how you, see, that's how you do it. That's how the young boys be doing it. I ain't that strong. Look, he waxing me already. Are you still winning? You got berries and shit. on top of the shit. What the fuck are you talking about? I don't even have five dollars. You're right. There you go. Man, I put them in the door. I don't support habits. I do not have it. I work. You know what I'm saying? Look, you got to my album all that. Stay right here. Everything went up. I got some cool. I got some cool from here. He's not coming back. That was Scott Lara. That's what Shorty was talking about. I don't know if we want to get on here though. We might get stuck. We might look like they were. We didn't got stuck a thousand times on every other day. They broke these joints too. We used to be doing all kinds of bad ass shit. We gonna press the floor. We gonna go to the. We gonna go to the fifth floor. We used to go all the way up. This shit on the tenth floor. We used to be on the rooftop. This shit. I was about to say we used to be on the rooftop. We used to be out there smoking and shit, looking in school. That's where everybody be at. Well, this one we be getting into. We only rock. We ain't get stuck. No, we ain't get stuck. You know what I'm saying? That was that was what's up. So like this is another part of the inside of the building. Y'all see the ladder inside? People live all in these buildings and shit. Whole bunch of shit going on throughout these buildings. You just up and down on every floor, you know what I'm saying? Some of these buildings probably look familiar to some niggas from New York, I ain't gonna lie. They probably like, that shit like New York, I ain't gonna hold you. Hey, son, that shit like New York on this, son? That's you know what I'm saying? Like, I can imagine the old heads banging that they chasing us. Because me chasing one of them right now, you see him dancing. <laughs> <laughs> they jumped in the whole fight. Oh, there go Cat Yellow! Everybody running to the whole fight. They dropping gold and shit. Come here, where the fuck y'all going? Come here, boy. Get your bad ass. Oh, we ain't just take the elevator to the 10th floor. I just want to show you the doctors. See, that's how the young boys get away. Because they know the niggas ain't never going to be cool. Even when the cops used to run these steps. Cop get to the third flight steps, they be like, How many flights is it? You got it. 10. I said 11, man. I forgot. Well, it's it's 11. 11. <laughs> 11. Oh, yeah, yeah. So they be in high and all this shit. This shit might be open. One of these niggas probably got the key. One of the young boys. You know what I'm saying? Niggas get out through the roof right there. Be on the roof, looking out for the bar. All they homies in here, smoking, hooking in school. We making sure they bad ass in school though. Cause we never went to school. Then you got around think, here. Like us being young boys, a lot of people when they was young boys, they ain't go like they ain't wanna go to school, but they ain't had nowhere to go. They couldn't go back home, their moms was there. They couldn't go to their friend's house because their friend's mom probably was there. Somebody was coming. Like everybody that didn't want to go to school came up to the buildings. It didn't matter which buildings you came to. Them buildings, these buildings, them buildings, them buildings down there, the towers. It didn't matter. If you didn't want to go to school, the whole school knew. If you went to Overbrook, if you went to Overbrook High School, that's right there. Half of the school was in these buildings. 
during school hours. Half the school. If you went to Bieberton Middle School, Lamberton, any school around here, half the school, and every school district was in these buildings during school. That's where the f everybody was at. If y'all want to know where everybody was truancy at, everybody was hanging out in the fucking building. We was having our own class. You hear me? That shit is so crazy, right? Because you don't think a nigga went to school today, right? Say if I ain't see him. We as young boys, I'm thinking he went to school. Damn, Keith went to school? All right, say no more. I come to, I come over here to the car and I go and knock on the store. He's here? Nah, nah, he ain't here. Then he must have went to school. I go in these buildings down here. He ain't in there. Then he had to go to school. As soon as I get to one of these other buildings, this nigga in here running around somewhere. Like, oh, shit. Oh, that's where everybody the fuck. We, we all want, looking for y'all. Don't want to show your car. In the back. I used to be on the third floor. Go on. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, like that's how outside, bro. Like, he hang day. right out the window. Little yeah. rascals. He's no, a little rascal for real, bro. That shit, like, niggas really was outside early. That's what motherfuckers be like, damn, when you jump off the porch, I don't know. <laughs> niggas, niggas just happen. Niggas was born off the porch for real. Well, that's that. It was his natural. Like, we was so influenced by what was going on on TV. You know what I'm saying? And then around just like, it just came natural. Like, oh, shit. We outside. Like, oh, shit. Like, they got this, they got that. Mm -hmm. We got this, we got that. Like, that's just how it came. Hey, bro, I've been outside and then, like I said, bro, I could have took you several different places. Because I live, like, my childhood crib, bro, was on 58th and Media, in between, uh, on 58th Street, in between Media and Master. Like, I really, I live there longer than there. Bro. Everything that's active, when you get active, is an easy getaway because there's so many buildings, so many alleys. They ain't come out of here, this joint usually go all the way up. Nigga fuck around, got tossed out this joint before. Damn. This shit, baby, I'm, yo, 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 Just come through, huh? Yo, yo, bro, bro, huh? Yelling out, like, who this, who that, ah, this ain't it, dude. Check temperature and all that. Yeah. These niggas all in here, like, this shit be getting, like, goofy, like, right now. It's like ghost town, like, it's, it's safe for us. But when they start coming out, they be out, usually come out nighttime. You know, like, nighttime, sundown and all that. Like, daytime, it be like this a lot in the daytime, I ain't gonna lie. Like, it's a lot safer in the daytime, a lot safer because the daytime, it don't be really, because there's a lot of kids, you feel me? It's a lot of kids, so the daytime, they try to keep that for the kids going to elementary school and all that. So niggas out here in the hood and shit, they respect that? Yeah, they respect that. Like, around this area, it's not a lot of goofy shit that's gonna go on. Like, you're not gonna see 30 young boys running around, toting poles, waving them at the public, and doing, uh, getting an unnecessary beef. Like, nine times out of 10, if it's something going down, it's about something. Like, something happened. Like, it ain't about to be no dumbass nut shit popping off, because people respect the kids and shit. They respect other people around this joint, like other people's families and all that shit. The only thing I can say is at nighttime, you might catch a lot of people yelling out the windows in these buildings, like, I'm trying to sleep. That's about it. But other than that, like, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of respect going on. Like, you know, yeah, bro, motherfucker, that's from around here, bro. Niggas is really brought up on some sturdy shit. So like even the young niggas, they fall in line like that too? Like some of them, I'm not gonna say every young boy just fall in line. Like we got a super on smash and every young boy is under, like, it's not like that. Like that's not, that's some movie shit. Like it's people out here that's like, they got their own thing going on. They don't want, like niggas don't want to get down by them. And you can't blame it because a lot of shit, really it's not like that is cause shit the cops did. All these fake ass conspiracies and Ricos. So now it's like if a young boy, he seen that growing up. Now it's like he don't never even want to be a part of no gang, none of that shit, no squad. He want to do his own thing. He want to start his own shit. He don't even want to be a part of your shit no more because when like all that shit going, on, you know how they invite everybody, put everybody in one case, mm -hmm. all this crazy nut goofy shit. Man, the young boys are seeing that shit. They like, yo, I don't want to fuck with niggas anyway. Like I'm cool. Yeah, like, I don't yeah, want to do business with you. I don't want. When I'm trapping, though, I ain't trapped like that, bro. I ain't never trapped around here. Like, when I, I, I first started trapping when I was in Wilkes Barre, when I was like 15, like, bro, that shit around here, these motherfuckers, like he telling you, bro, that shit different. You know what I'm saying? Like, when I was around here, bro, we still was on some kids. Shit. Like, we was doing shit, yeah. The most we probably it, did when you was around here was like, play with guys and Yeah, school. like, we wasn't, we uh, them school, school, was, like, like, was, selling drugs. I told you, like, even still, like, when he said you didn't trap when he was 15, like even with me, it probably was the same thing out here even though he moved because I told you the old heads was res like they had a lot of respect for our parents and shit. So 
So they used to be like, yo, no, you can't track. You can't do this. Like, and then you got to think a lot growing up, a lot of our siblings was getting locked up for bodies. And it was goofy. So if a nigga knew you and he knew your cousin or your brother was booked for a serious drone, he trying to keep you from away yeah, from man. that shit. He don't want really you to be in that shit. So he like, yo, you what? can't grind around these areas. Like, man. you're not allowed to sell drugs. You're not allowed to have a gun. And you looking at this nigga like, yo, you not my dad, you not about to tell me what I'm not allowed to do. Like, I'm a fucking man. But you a young boy, he trying to steer you the right way. Niggas be trying to do this shit, bro. That's niggas, one thing you can say, like, the motherfucker definitely will try to keep you out the way for as long. Like, when I was around, bro, the young boy, the old heads, bro, they used to make us put the gloves on. You know, that shit teach niggas discipline, bro. Like, like this shit right here, like, see how this shit, like, this is the rest of the eve. I, when I was a young boy, I used to shit like that. Throw that shit out the window. You don't have an old head. Pop off the elevator from all the way downstairs outside. Bing! Yo, you just threw that shit out the window, young boy. Fuck wrong with you? I'm like, what? Young boy, you y'all in here smoking? Everybody put that out. Y'all niggas can't smoke in here. Y'all niggas got roll. So now we got one of us like, I'm right, stealing. He back, he sizing old head up. Old head don't even see. We not going, but they just trying to have us on a different path. So they trying to make us go, but it's like it's like being in jail, but we not in jail. But they was just like trying to be like thorough. Like, y'all oh, can't do this. Like, but we not going. We like, nigga, we all we seeing is what we seeing. So this is all we know. So a nigga like this, like, he telling you, trying to talk to one young boy. Like, yo, you can't smoke. I smack the hell out of him. I'm going to tell you my, one of us is still in. Boom. Shut up, old head. Then we teeing on old head in the jaw. He go down, he tell the rest of the old head, the young boy's just rolling on me. Hmm. Then they coming back through the building. We running niggas, dropping they burners and shit. Running through the building. We, we running from the old heads. We not about to start shooting at our old heads. It's all play, fight, rumble shit. But they really trying to tell us like, y'all can't grind out here. So we running through the building. We might run through here. Look, <laughs> come around here. Oh shit, come here, come here, Nigga might like, drop this pole, run around here. <laughs> run all through the jump. We running out of the old heads chasing us. The bitches running with us. They like, ah! We smoke, we still smoking. And then as we got older, and it's like, man, I'm like, no, nah, nigga, like, you can't tell us like, we can't. <clears throat> I blitz through this jump like, the same shit. I walk up the elevator smoking the air like this. Don't care who I run into, smoking the L. What's up? Jump right up the elevator. Oh, yeah, I just seen your mile. Oh, yeah, Todd, I said, What's up? I'm gonna tell you smoking. What's your man? I don't care, Tom. I'm in the e building, fourth floor, shit like that. You feel me? 